Hi YouTube and uh, it's Fernbark here. I watch a lot of videos uh, basically that have to do with solar power and using inverters and things of, things of that nature and uh, inevitably there's a question on there can I run this with this inverter can I run this with that solar panel and I think that a lot of people uh, don't realize the limitations involved when you're using uh, direct current uh, specifically if you're using 12 volt direct current uh, the power consumption is dramatically higher than if you use 120 volts um, the whole premise behind uh, electricity it's going to be watts equals volts times amps and that's really going to be the math formula that you're going to live with uh, if, when you start using dual voltage power systems and the easiest is uh, AC, uh, 12, 120 volt AC to 12 volt DC you just divide by 10 so if you have something that's um, using or actually this t in this instance you would multiply by 10 but if you have something that's using 5 amps in AC power that's going to be 50 amps DC and that's a lot of current you're going to need a big fat wire I used to sell uh, inverters at a place I worked and people would come in and they would want to uh, they want to know why their inverter wasn't working and they were plugging a 500 watt inverter into the cigarette lighter of their car and they're trying to pull you know 40 50 amps through a little skinny wire going through the dash of their car and, and it's, just, it's just not going to happen you're going to have voltage drops uh, you're going to smoke the wire because it just can't pull that much power and you know they end up being disappointed and the other thing that they think that they could do is, is run something like an air conditioner or uh, microwaves and things like that through small units so what I've done is I've created a spreadsheet and it's by no means inclusive uh, but it's going to be pretty general and it's going to let you see uh, some of the things and how long uh, you can operate certain things based on some pretty basic um, setups that you might encounter in real life okay what I've done is um, I have the basic formula right here, watts equals volts times amps, and on the left side I have amps in AC, and on the right side I have amps in DC, and I've broken it down into uh, 12, 24, and 48 volt. Uh, these are going to be the three voltages that you're going to find in inverters. Uh, the high end ones being 48, and the low end ones uh, being 12 volt. And you can see right away um, I got 343 in here. That's whoops. Oh shoot. This thing times out on me. Anyhow, it's uh, 343. That's what my refrigerator, my RV, runs on, and that's the where I'm having trouble right now because my solar system is not keeping up with the amount of power that it wants. But you can see at uh, 12 volts, that's 28 and a half amps. It's 14 amps at 24 volts. That's the system power I'm operating at and it's 7 amps at 48 volts and you can see right away pe why people would want to step up from 12 volt to 24 to 48 your power consumption drops quite a bit and of course then the amount of the thickness of the wire uh, you can use much thinner wire and and there's there's all kinds of advantages to it and then if we come down here uh, what I've done is I have a 400 amp hour bank and then at 50 percent that's 200 amp hours but I really don't want to get below 75 so that's 100 but I th also thought 100 worked out really well because um, if you have a 12 volt system you you'd take a lot of batteries to get to 100 amp hours um, and also if you have like a 50 amp hour thing you know you just cut these numbers in half or just write your own spreadsheet anyhow uh, my refrigerator that's at 343 um, it's 2. Point, it's actually a little bit less than that. I, um, it's about 2.78. So if I change this to about, let's say 323. Oh, let's say 300. Whoops. Um, you can see it's 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 actually using 2.61 amps AC, and I got that off the, um, that number off of uh, the kilowatt unit that I have plugged up to, so I could get an accurate number. And at 24 volts, um, it's 
it's using 12 and a half amps uh, DC and I get eight hours of runtime which so basically what happens is as soon as the sun goes down if that refrigerator runs all night and for some reason this thing hardly ever shuts off so it really uses a lot of current it's, it wipes me out overnight so um, that's bad news for me but what I've done is over here on the right I've put in uh, I've looked these all up these are not going to be exact numbers these are uh, numbers I got off of um, well the the coffee maker I got that up that's my little Coreg uh, coffee maker um, I actually the and then the the drip pot I have in the house is 900 watts and then uh, the toaster oven I just read that off the back of the unit uh, my microwave pulls 1100 watts you know if you have a, a smaller microwave it's probably 900 watts so just use the coffee number I actually have all these air conditioners and I looked at the tag and this is the numbers off of the tag so I'm just going to enter those in and you can kind of see uh, what's going to happen oh shoot what's going to happen uh, with the amps as as you go up and what happens to your runtime so and then uh, these numbers down here I just got those off the internet off a of website so most of these numbers are what the manufacturer says it is and my experience has been it's usually really close to what it actually does so I'm just gonna uh, type in the numbers here and then you'll be able to see on this side um, how they change so if, if you have a 950 watt coffee maker um, you're obviously not gonna run that for hours at a time but it is interesting to see that if you have a 12 volt just uh, inverter that's going to pull almost 80 amps and you're going to need a pretty fat wire to operate that thing so if you have uh, a little if you got a uh, a small inverter and you can't figure out why it's not working it's probably because your your wire is too small uh, 1200 watt toaster uh, that's 100 amps well that's pretty simple math right there uh, microwave oven is uh, a lot of amperage. You're not going to run those all day, but they, the what you want to look at for this is it's just going to have a really high current draw for a short period of time. So you want to make sure your wiring is set up to accommodate that. Uh, here we go. A lot of people want to know if an air conditioner can be run on an inverter. This is a 5,000 watt unit, uh, so it's going to put it's going to pull 40 amps on a 12 volt system. You could run that for 2.4 hours, you know, with a 100 amp hour battery bank. If you got a 50 amp hour battery bank, that's an hour and a half, or an hour and a quarter. So you don't really get a lot of runtime off of one of these things unless you actually, uh, you know, maybe have a nice big solar array that can keep up with, you know, 40 amps. Now, 20 amps wouldn't be. You could actually probably uh, that would be more attainable uh, during the daytime if you had strong sun without too huge of a solar array. Let's see here. Let me go back up. Uh, let's see my 8,000 watt air conditioner that was 760 on the tag so even with a 24 volt system you can only uh, run that thing for about three hours and, and your batteries are going to be tapped out and let's see 13,500 13, that's 1,074 that's what's in the that's actually what I have in a window unit and that's what's on the top of my travel trailer so if I actually turned that on and ran it, I could run that for two hours and then I'd have dead battery. And that's just on straight battery, uh, no solar current adding to the. Um, but the you know that's 89 amps DC, 44 amps at 24 volt. That's just a lot of current running continuously. Let's see here. Um, and then it kind of follows the same thing. I, I put floor heaters in. Uh, but you know, small floor heater is the same as the 8,000 unit. If you had a large floor heater, uh, you get half an hour on 12 volt or 0.8 an hour and a half at 24 volt. So obviously, you're not going to use electricity to heat. Uh, a small TV. This is a this is like a 20 inch LCD. Only pulls seven amps at 12 volts, 375, 3.75 at 24 volt. Uh, you can run one of those for a really long time. Uh, I actually have a 22 inch LCD and an Xbox 360 and a stereo all hooked together and they barely pull any power. 
uh, let me see I'll type in my 106 for the Xbox and 106 uh, watts that's if you're playing a, a graphic intensive game and the CPU is really working hard uh, but you can see you still play that for 11 to 22 hours depending on you know what size system you have so there's just some numbers for you um, you know you might kind of went through those fast uh, if, you know you can just rewind and pause and look at it and and see if any of that applies to you but hopefully this helps somebody uh, really what I'm hoping you take away is the amount of amps that's that's really a when you step down the voltage the amps just go way up so that's just uh, something to really consider when you're planning your system out thanks for watching